Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, World War II Airborne Collector. Um, apologies if you can't see me that much in the video, it's kind of a good thing, but I'm just sort of trying to get as much as possible in field of view. So, this is kind of a bit of a baseline of what a um, power trooper would have carried in his pockets um, during World War II. Um, so this is my original um, M42 jump jacket and jump trousers. And yeah, like I say, I'm just going to give you a, a bit of a sort of guide of what they would have carried in their pockets. Um, so we're going to start off with the luminous disc. This would have been sewn on the back of their collar, um, so to give their teammates um, an idea of where you are when going out and doing night manoeuvres. Um, there's also another type of this that had a little hook on the back that would have gone on the back of the helmets or vice versa. Um, so then moving down from the collar, we go to his left breast pocket. Got two different types of tobacco here. I've set out two different types here so you can get a bit of a variant of what was out there. So I've gone for the green Lucky Strikes and also um, chewing tobacco. Two nice items, you don't see that much anymore. Um, really quite hard to find, should I say. Um, then I've put a his watch, um, brass compass, uh, compass, <laughs> brass whistle, um, also, a lighter, this is made by Parker, and um, it's got a nice green crackling uh, paint on that. Um, Dr. West toothbrush. Then we're going to go and move to his centre um, pocket that was in the jump jacket, and this would have carried the um, flip knife or parachutist knife. Um, and the idea of that was so you could sort of use it one handed because it was flip operated to um, cut your rigging lines if you got entangled in the tree or got um, tangled up so you could operate it with one hand. Um, then we're gonna go to his right um, breast pocket. Uh, wound tablets, um, pencil, and this is a, this is all original again. So this is an original um, escape and evasion kit for France, 1943 stamps on that. Inside of that would be um, money, map case all in there, uh, money, um, maps with escape routes, um, compass, and a little hacksaw blade. And there's also like a French phrase um, card, which unfortunately isn't in that, so I'm on the hunt for one of them to make it complete. Um, and then we're gonna move down to his bottom two pockets. This one, he's got um, two half pounds of TNT uh, blocks. I'm going to go to his other one where there's some ration items in here. We've got some water purification tablets, um, some chewing gum, um, a chocolate de-ration bar, um, a fruit bar. These were all issued to troops before Normandy and any sort of campaign that they went on to. Um, we've got some C um, fuel tablets, some uh, Scotch tissue paper and layman's toothpaste. That's a really nice item. If you ever see that, buy it straight away. Really hard to find. And we're going to move down to uh, trousers. Now in his top pocket, you would find, or top pocket of trousers, I don't really know what that pocket is. If there's any tailors or anyone out that knows about trousers, let me know. It's a pair of socks and a pair of pants, um, or boxers, should I say. Um, then moving down to the bigger pocket on the leg, I've put um, K rations. Now you can fit two or three in there, but for this example, I've just put um, the early style uh, brown cardboard um, packaging and they then changed the colour in. The colour of, of these were um, for the morale packets but they were later war. But for this example, because it's an early jumpsuit, I put the lighter brown one in there. Um, they are nice deep pockets so you can get two or three of them in there. Um, moving to the left hand side of the trousers, we've got a French phrase book, pack of condoms if you get lucky. Um, then moving a bit further down into the bottom pocket of the trousers, we've got his bar, nice bar of soap, um, his razor blade, and then some bandages, some sulfur powder. I don't actually know how you pronounce that, but that's what we're putting on wounds. Um, also going straight back here and said wounds, his wounds tablets. I can't remember if I said that or not, but that would have been in his top uh, breast pocket. And then the gas cover protection. In, the, in that pocket as well. But um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I've rushed through and missed, but I don't think I have. 
But this is, like I say, this is kind of a bit of a baseline of what they would have carried in their pockets. Um, if you have found this very short, rambling on video quite helpful, um, please give me a like. And if you've got any questions, please do um, comment. I'm sure I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. Um, but yeah, if you want to also check me out, I'm also on Instagram. That's World War II Airborne Collector again. Um, yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you.